So, in the light of Valentine's Day, we're going to be opening another Try the World box today. I did one of these last time with another box, which was Tokyo, and we opened it together and we tried some things, and this time it is going to be Valentine's Day themed. <gasps> it came in just to show you how it came because they have their very own packaging look try the world logo beautifully packaged one of the main things i actually like about try the world is their packaging i just think they do a splendid job every time i just reminded myself actually some of you might not even know what try the world is try the world basically is a subscription box company which you sign up to and they send you a box every month of a new country so if you're into traveling if you're into trying new things you can do it in the comfort of your own home Home. So I'm going to be opening my Venice box now and we're going to be having a look at this together very romantically. After all, we are dating, right? It's like proper stuffed. Now, they always put in a, like, a little leaflet on the top basically saying about everything that's in the box so you don't get confused about things because you're going to be new to them because, you know, Culture Guide Venice. And it just tells you facts about Venice, really. So it just tells you Italian dishes, little recipes, and then music. And now, if we lift all these wormy worms, so the first thing that really gets my eyeballs is dark chocolate limoncello. I'm not even saying that right, but it's it looks to me like dark chocolate with lemon in it. I don't know about you, but that sounds delicious. Oh, I'm I'm wanting it to smell nice. I don't usually like dark chocolate. I'm not gonna lie. Mmm. I think out of all the subscription boxes I've ever worked with, I freaking hands down put Try the World first. It's amazing. They actually put in a really big thing and I'm kind of super excited about this. Handmade pasta captures the essence of Italian culture. Traditionally, they would hang their spaghetti to dry like laundry in fresh air from both the mountain and the sea. Today they are dried with heaters, but the traditional approach remains. Obviously I need to cook this before I eat this. I'm not going to be doing that in this video, but there will be a video which I'm going to be putting up nearer to Valentine's Day, where I'm going to be like putting all this stuff together and making like a little Valentine's Day montage. We can enjoy like a Valentine's Day meal together on my channel, thought that'd be cute, maybe not. Next up, we actually have some lemon Mediterranean scent candy. I don't know anything about what this may be. Leon, I can't pronounce anything, has been pronounced, <laughs> pronouncing, no. Producing a pastel candy originals using traditional bronze molds. Ah, oh, this looks so cool. I love the packaging. Kind of looks really vintagey. They look like little bits of chalk. You know that like padding they put inside packaging? It sort of looks like that. This is so nice. This definitely reminds me of something. It reminds me of lemon cheesecake. If you like lemon cheesecake, you need to hit these up. Next thing is actually another thing which I can't try right now because I want to save it. It's absolutely humongous. And it comes in this huge little jar and it's got mogi on it. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And it is... I'm really excited about this one. It's coffee. It's a humongous tin of coffee. You know I love coffee. I just want to go... After water, coffee is the most common drink throughout Italy. Interesting. It's a very, very sure to transport you to Italy. This is another thing I'm going to be trying in the Valentine's Day special video. Oh my god. Oh, it smells like when you walk past Costa and it's like... It smells so good. It kind of just looks like soil. It looks like there's soil in there. Oh, I just can't. I cannot fathom. So the next thing I can actually try, I think it's some sort of nugget thing. The Vinci factory still preserves the same recipe perfected by the artisan chocolatier. Enjoy these delightful treats with a crunchy twist of refined hazelnuts. Oh, I love hazelnut. It's hard. It's meant to be hard. It's so crunchy, crunchy. I was gonna save some, but. Mm-mm, no way. Next up is this little honey pot. Cute. Mystery treat, apparently. The Carnival of Venice is full of surprises and therefore we've included a mystery product in your Venice box in this spirit. All of our treats are curated with your cultural experience in mind and we hope this surprise brings you a bit of Venetian magic. Venetian, that's a nice word to say. So I'm probably gonna include this in my video, but I'm also gonna have a like a little cheeky little, you know what I'm saying? Reminds me of pancakes. <sighs> It 
It's the sweetest thing you can imagine. Beautiful, I cannot get over that. The last thing. Red pesto and truffles. This is a really strange one actually because I have no idea what you use it with, what you eat it with. Truffle is an intensely flavoured mushroom bound to be a part of your favourite pasta, fish and meat. Heat sauce and pan over low heat, spread on toast, spread and serve. Add it to your favourite pasta. <sighs> Well, I know I got my pasta. All heat sauce in a pan over heat and drizzle it over your favorite meat or fish. So this is actually my box done. I told you that they put a lot in here because they really do. They shove it in here. I have no idea how they filtered all that in because I'm not going to be able to fit that in in any way, shape or form. Thank you so much to Try The World for letting me try the world. Um, if you would like to try it yourself and get yourself some boxes, you can do that. There is a link in the description for you and I will give you a discount code so you can get some big percentage chunk off. Ellie Travels is all you have to put into the coupon code box when you check out and you'll get some money off. Let me know if you're going to try Try The World with me too because that way if you whoa I nearly dropped it that way if you do we can try the world together I will see you guys in three days time I hope you enjoyed I hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day even though I will be seeing you before that choose happiness happiness will choose you stay sexy stay awesome stay fabulous and I'll see you soon bye oh dear I'm stuck an entire box I'm talking a huge box which was just absolutely crammed with all these different types of makeup. She wanted me to pick out the things that I like the best and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing in this video. I'm not going to be sat here telling you to buy all this stuff because that's absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to be picking out the things that I